talking about this sewing machine. It's a Berliner record, 930 sewing machine. Uh, this is an electric sewing machine. It's very nice, it's popular. I think maybe back in the 80s or so. During that time, I always say this is some kind of luxury sewing machine. They're really popular there, they're really, really popular. And they're fantastic with sewing. Fantastic with sewing. But now, if you're gonna get any of this machine, they cost a lot of money now. It's like you're buying, um, you know, vintage card. But they're pretty good. They work very well. So this is 930 model, and they, they, you know, this 930 have a variation. They have a lot of 930 with different number, and uh, you know, for some reason I don't know, but the 930 is just it's not just one machine. They, it's, it's one machine, but. That 930, they call, you know, they, they, have, they, they were like in variation that some will have some pattern, some will not have some pattern. You know, they kind of, it's like a kind of miss pattern on this sewing machine. So, in this particular one, right, you could do three stitch, zigzag, but you know, and some other things. So, I'm going to be walking you through this machine and see how fantastic this machine is. All right, I'm gonna start right from here, then I'll walk my way up, all right? So, first thing first, if you look down here, there's a hole. That little hole here, this one, that is where you put in your knee lifter. There's a knee lifter that is built with this machine. It's removable, you put it in, you can, lean, you can lift, the presser foot by using your nail, you know, to swift the rod that will plug here and it will move this up and when you release it will bring it down. So when you are doing sewing, you can bury your needle and lift with your nail and turn your fabric, all right? And this one is another knob. This actually controls the stitches, right? There's two light here. Let me turn it on. That's green light. If I switch this, we we'll switch to red light. There is a function for that, all right? So, if I have to explain this, I have to explain what this is working with. So, when you switch this die, it's two in one. There's one here, and there's one here. So I'm now talking about this upper one now, the one that you're gonna switch, this one, all right? When you switch it to the red and the light is on, it functions on the design that we have here. So the design is in two portions. We have one zero to five, and we have another one there which is zero to 20, all right? When you switch your dye to the red, and you have the red light up here, it means the machine will be sewing all this design here. If you switch back, and you have the green light, this green light is going to come on, and it means you are trying to do all this design, stitch design. Next to it is the selector. There's a red die here that is going to signify your selection. You push and you move it around. And that will show you your selection. All right? So we have three stitch and zigzag on zero and all the way like that. So if you're sewing three stitch, this second selector has to be in zero to do three stitch. But if you're going to do anything other than three stitch, you have to move this to one into 20. You have to go up like that. Now you could do zigzag one up to this 20, or you can do one to two. But when this is in the zero, you can do the first selection here, three stitch or zigzag. Or you could do this if you're on the red position, right? That's all about that. So here, top here, before I leave this place, 
you have the tension. This is the tension dial. You have minus and plus, so you go up or down just to increase or decrease the tension. And this is another tension that you use during bobbing and winding. It creates some loop tension for your bobbing when you're doing your bobbing winding. At the back here, you have your spool holder. Okay? When you open this place, that's where you have your bobbing. You put your bobbing there, you have your thread. You load your thread like that. You bring your thread all the way like this. You create a loop, and that's how you do your bobbing winding. All right, I think that one is covered, okay? Number two, this machine is kind of a little automatic. So once you set your die, this one, it's always better for you to set it. And you have a red dot, there's a red. Let me show you if you're gonna see it. There is a red dot right here that you will see. You see that red dot right there? You should always set your tension to show the red dot. That's for regular and everyday sewing. All right? That's what that is for. For regular and everyday sewing. Another thing I want to show you is this little knob right here. Now that this is facing up, what is going to be doing regular sewing stitch? If you put to this, it's going to be doing like a skip stitch. And this side is going to be sewing a stitch and double it by one when you sew. But when you're doing normal sewing, it will always be there, right? Like I told you, this knob is too young. Up here is a selector. There's something here. There's another one here. When you're using this selector to this other side, it's good for free motion or if you're doing quitting, things like that. That is when you want to use this. You don't want your feed dog to be engaged. When you are doing free motion or quitting, you want to disengage your feed dog, and this is how you disengage it. You put to this side, it will disengage. If you come back to this side, it will engage your feed dog, and it will help you to feed your fabric. So we have this to be the reverse lever, and when you twist the knob, it change your stitch length from zero to four, and up or down will be your reverse. Okay, this two knob, they work together in some way. If you're going to do a button hole stitch, they both work together. Okay, now the button hole is like a five step, starting from zero to five. If you pull this to the number one, it will engage this. Cause this is where you set your zigzag level your stitch width, level the width, that's where you set it. So once you engage the button hole, it will engage this. If I switch to number two, just look at this. It's changed to number four. When I switch to number two, this go all the way to four. When I change to three, it bring it back to two, four, to the, you know, all the way back to four, five, zero, and that's the end of your button hole, and zero, bring it back to normal stitch. That's how you do your button hole, okay? Then, I have this knob bottle also. I should always have also as a two-in-one knob. There's one rotating inner, and there's one ring outside. The ring outside, that will control the width, the width of the machine from a zero to four. 
If you are doing three stitch, you want to leave this knob to be set to number zero. If you want to do zigzag, depend on the width of the zigzag, it's starting from 0.5 all the way to 4, all right? That is to the extent of your zigzag, all right, that you want to do. That is the function of that knob. But the one inner will control your needle. If you come all the way to the left, it's going to bring your needle to the left. If you go to the middle, it will center your needle. And uh, if you go all the way to the right, it will push the needle to the right. That's the function. But in my case, I always leave it in the middle. Put it at the middle, okay? So those are the functions of this machine. This machine, you know, there's a lot of things you could do. There's a graduated ruler right here, down here. Uh, this is how you assess your bobbin. You can also put this on top here to release the face plate. You can take it off, clean your machine, you know, do the cleaning. This is the inside. You do the cleaning like the, you know, your regular maintenance. All right. And you can put it back and press this one back in. Okay. You press it back in. Just to be sure that okay everything is in place. And you press it back in, okay? That's it, it's locked back in. This you can just pull out and take out your bobbin. You can press this also. And you have this all the way, and you have the shoulder. This is the shoulder. This is where you hold your shoulder. This is where you put oil, just a drop of oil. And you put it back. Once you have your shuttle back inside and it's sitting correctly, you can push this back to get it stabilized and uh, you can get your bobbin. You put it all the way like that, pushing it will snap in, close it back. This machine comes with a station table. This is the locking. So all you have to do is push it towards here. Slide it in like that. Make sure this thing is a little bit tricky. You see now it's all the way in. Now you can lock it down. So I'm gonna show you how to thread the machine. You have your thread like that. At the back, you have to go through this hoop at the back, just like that. And you go all the way in here, like right here. You take it all the way inside, like that. Okay? Once you get that done, the next thing, is you come down like this. Once you get this all the way here, you go down like that and you come back up all the way like that. Put on the hook like that. And you thread your needle towards the back, going towards the back where you thread your needle. you'll be good to go. Just for your machine and get the popping out, okay? And that is how you thread the machine. Very simple, very easy. Right here is where you turn the light on and off. Right here this is where you plug the presser foot. So if you need to sew anything, just have your fabric, like so. And, uh, and 
go to the food center and you saw. Right. This is how you do your soy. And this will go to the back, front. So if you're going to do zigzag, make sure your needle is up. And you can turn this to do zigzag. That's exact. I'm very sure this machine could be set to have the needle down or to have the needle up anytime you have, you know you have your project to stop. The needle can be up or down, depending on how you want to set it. So that's just the machine. This is Benina Mentally Soy Machine and I hope you enjoy this workshop video of the Benina Mentally. They have a lot of Benina but you know this one is really popular and uh, you could do a lot of things, a lot of stitches, you know different stitch with this thing. Just like if I have to do, uh, let me see number 17, number 17. I have to sweep that one up and uh, coming down like that. And uh, let me sweep this one all the way up. Okay. And if you just go like this. So that is Berlina my Teddy sewing machine. So that's it guys. That's Berlina my Teddy sewing machine. Until next time, you will see me again. Stay blessed.